Quickly before we get started in this video, I just want to let you guys know that apparently half of my viewers aren't subscribed, so make sure you are subscribed. Thank you very much, and let's get into the video. Yo guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to download Truckers MP for Euro Truck Simulator 2 and also American Truck Simulator because this works on both accounts or both games. So as you can see, I'm on a brand new Steam profile because I want to show you basically the entire thing set up. Now I am using family sharing, so for me it won't work, but this basically gives you a kind of guide on how this works. So firstly, I'm going to basically show you a few things that you are going to need to do, which is a very handy tip before we even get started by even touching on the Truckers MP website, because Truckers MP is the multiplayer version of both of these games. So you can can basically truck around with other people around the around the map so as you can see it says borrow for me but it is installed on my computer so go to properties by right clicking in the drop down menu and go to properties go over to the local files tab and then you should go on to browse local files here and then once it all loads up copy this uh, this basically URL if that's what you call it. So I'm going to open a notepad up quickly. So let me just go ahead and do that. Open notepad. And then basically I'm going to click here, control V to copy, and then basically paste it in here. I also have American Truck, so I'm going to do the exact same thing with American Truck. So let's close out of this. So once again, go to the American Truck Simulator 2 tab on the drop down list. Go right head and right click properties, go over to local files, browse local files wait for it to load up, get this uh, directory, copy it, and then paste it into that notepad and don't open OBS like I just did. I mean, I don't even know why you would have OBS open anyway in the first place. So there we go. We have our two directories, so now we can go ahead and cancel out of that. Now let's head over to the Truckers MP website. So on the Truckers MP website, you want to go ahead and click this login button right up here. There's also a register tab as well, which you should actually probably do. Click this register tab, and then you basically want to associate your Steam ID now. You will not be able to play online without completing this step. Now before you do that, on your Steam account, you need to make sure that your profile is set to public. So then Truckers MP can basically see that you have the game and is able to basically talk with Steam and basically verify that you have the game on your account because I cannot stress this enough. As far as I am aware, you need to have the game purchased on that uh, on that profile. So as far as I'm aware, you can't use family sharing. You can't use it from a key you've got offline. It has to be the official Steam edition. Yes, if you have a key for the Steam version of the game, then that will work completely fine. Uh, but if you've bought it off an online website or something, this won't work. So the way you do that is by clicking on your name up here, go to view my profile, wait for it all to load up, click edit profile, and then you should be taken to a page that looks like this. Go over to privacy settings and on my profile, set that to public and also set your game details to public as well. And there you go. Go back onto the Truckers MP website and then it says sign in through Steam. The site not associated with the whatever that says. So you just click that and then it might take you over to the Steam community thing. So you basically just want to log in. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, if I can remember my login, um, I think it's this. I think I just called it video. Vid uh, I think I just called it tutorial video for TMP. Uh, let me just go ahead and input my password. There we go. Sign in. Uh, and obviously, you may get a. Uh, you may get a. Um, uh, you may have to get a code, which I've just opened my emails for. Uh, so I'm just going to type that in now. Uh, obviously, will be blurred out for you. Uh, so let's just go ahead and type that in now. There we go. Proceed to Steam. There we go. So we've all signed in. That is good. Save the pro password if you want to. Uh, fix errors below and try again. It looks like your Steam profile is private. It isn't. Open the privacy settings and set my profile and game details to public. Uncheck always keep my total playtime private. Check uh, and try again. Please read this knowledge. 
but a base article for more details. Now, obviously, it did not work because I haven't played for two hours on Euro Truck because uh, that is a requirement. You need to have played at least two hours on either game in order to get the mod. Uh, and then uh, also you want to um, make sure that you have done those things as well. Make sure that you haven't set your Steam profile uh, or make sure that you have put your Steam profile on public and stuff like that. So I'm going to jump over to my normal uh, Steam account and I'm basically just going to show you what you need to do once you've all registered with Truckers MP and everything like that. So now I'm signed in with my main profile, but obviously you guys would have completed the login details. So go over to this download button right here in the in the tab bar up here, or whatever it's called, uh, and then you should be taken to this page. Scroll down and then click this download now button. Now, again, do not download this from anywhere else. Only download it from this official website. I'll leave a link to Trickers MP in the description below. So click download now. It will save you where you want to save this to. I'm just going to save it to my uh, to my uh, hard drive. And uh, I'm just going to save it in somewhere completely random. Uh, I should have a kind of downloads button. Here it is downloads tab so just click download your download will start obviously uh, I'm using a different browser your browser will may, may look different it can be used on any browser it doesn't have to be this specific browser and then basically all you want to do now is basically open up where that file was saved so for me it was here as you can see the launcher 104 uh, you may want to ex extract it as well so just use 7-zip or WinRAR to extract it so extract all just save where you want to extract it to. I'm just going to save it to the exact same folder. So let me know. Just, just go and do that there. There we go. Just extract it to the um, to the thing. Uh, and then basically inside of that uh, folder, you should now then see install truckers MP. Double click that. And you should be taken to basically the um, to the taken. Now, well, hopefully, you can see this. Um, just click yes to allow the um, publishing thing. So this is the welcome to the Truckers MP launcher setup wizard. Uh, so basically, this is where you're going to be installing the game. Click next. Accept the agreement. Read through this. Just make sure you understand the rules because I don't want you guys getting banned and stuff. So just make sure you understand the rules. Click next. Uh, select where you want Truckers MP to be installed. Yeah, just install it in the default thing. I'm actually changing that to my F drive to be fair. Uh, let me just go ahead and do that now. Um, I think I'm just going to set it in. Uh, I'll probably just save it in there to be fair. Right, there we go. Next. Uh, already exists. Would you like to? Yes. So now you want to basically select what games you have and what games you want to use Trickers MP for. So it can either be either ETS2 multiplayer or ATS multiplayer. So if you have both games, you can leave them ticked. But say if you only have Euro Truck, you'd only tick the games you have. Similarly, if you only wanted to use this for American Truck, you would just choose American Truck. I have both games, so I'm going to leave them both uh, ticked. So let's just go ahead and tick them. Click Next. And then this is where you are going to want to input the directory of your games. So remember how we did this? We copied the directory of our of where our files are or where our game is installed. This is what you want. So our first one is American Truck, I do believe. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and copy the directory of our American Truck. Go back to the uh, to the install wizard. Just copy and paste it in there. Just make it sure it's in there. You can also browse and do it that way, but I just find doing it the copy and pasting way is easiest. Click next. Uh, it, the next button should um, be highlighted as well once you've done it correctly. Do the same thing for Euro Truck. So again, go ahead and click uh, on Euro Truck. Make sure you copy and paste that in there. Click next. Uh, select if you want to make a program shortcut. I do. Yes. Create desktop icon. Uh, read through this. Just make sure everything is correct. Everything is all right. Install. And then it should install Truckers MP. Finish the wizard. And then you should be able to just... Um, you know play it really so go ahead and open the application you may have to install some available updates so just go ahead and do that if there is and then you can basically launch either ATS or ETS2 and basically when you're on the game you'll get taken to basically a place where you want to sign in and you know what I'll go ahead and do that now one thing to note as well once it well, once it's loading up is uh, when you get to this screen just make sure that you see 
the multiplayer tab thing there, so then you know that you're on the multiplayer website as well, not that you're going onto the single player. So after the menu screens have loaded in, you should come to a screen that looks like this, and this is basically where you want to log in to your Steam account. So go ahead and log in with the exact same details you made in the Trickers MP website, so with your email and also your password, which you will set up once you've authorized your Steam account with uh, with uh, Trickers MP. And then basically go ahead and do that. Obviously, I've hidden my stuff because I don't want you guys knowing my email. If you've got your password as well, you can reset it. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can make a new one. Uh, so yeah, you have um, you have some settings that you can change as well. Uh, so you can say you can change some of the general stuff. So development logging. I recommend just using these, just uh, keeping this keeping these the same. Uh, on player tag, uh, you can make that whatever you want. Uh, you can show the players on the world map. So basically, if you want to see where players are on your GPS, uh, you would have that ticked. But if you have it off, then you actually have to, you know, look left and right when emerging from junctions to see if there is anyone. Speed limiter, again, you can leave that on or off. It's completely your choice. Um, and yeah, basically, just go through and just make sure that you've got everything the same. Uh, so graphics. Uh, I recommend you have these headlights uh, option off. Uh, and basically what that means is uh, with people flashing you, it won't show up on your screen and it just keeps the frame rate a bit higher. So I recommend you go in, disable that and it can get a bit annoying for the player as well. Change stuff for the interf interface as well. Once you've done, click apply, OK, log in and then you should basically be taken to a screen like this where it says select the server. So you basically select the server that you want. You do have the ProMods version but uh, normal mods are not supported in the game. Uh, so yeah, just click ahead and then you're basically taken to a screen that just looks like you're on the normal Euro Truck launch pad. And that is basically what it is. You're effectively on Truckers MP uh, or you're effectively on Euro Truck. The only difference is you're online. Now, a few tips I should just mention as well. Um, make sure that you are running no mods as well, as you can see on my Truckers MP account. I am running no mods whatsoever. Uh, also, make sure that... Um, uh, well, it's not really a make sure, but I do recommend that you do make a new account for when you're playing Trickers MP, so then that way you don't disrupt your normal game. This is my normal game. If I go to the mod manager, you can see I've got a ton of mods on this uh, thing. And basically, if I was to um, if I was to play on that, that profile would not work and I'd have to delete a few mods as well. So make sure that you uh, basically make a... Uh, you basically make a an account that's basically used for um, for online. Obviously, you don't have to do that. That's basically just a tip that you can do. So yeah, just go ahead and do that. Uh, also, I recommend that you go ahead and just basically get a truck, get a loan, get everything playable offline before then you go online, uh, which is basically get a truck. Um, and yeah, just basically get everything set up, basically get a truck do your garages and stuff like that. Uh, as far as I'm aware, your workers do not work online. So if you do have like any other workers, they won't make money while you're online. Uh, so yeah, just um, best thing I can say is when you start up on the single player, when you're doing that two hour authentication thing, uh, open up the mod manager, just get a money XP and money ch and uh, XP cheat mod. Uh, just do a few jobs. Uh, just, you know, get your uh, truck done, disable the mods, just rerun the profile as well, just to, you know, make sure that it's, you know, uh, you're now on the game without any mods, uh, you're, on, you're on the vanilla game, and then you should be fine to open the thing. So hopefully this has helped some of you out, or most of you out. I do apologise if this is quite if this was quite long, but I just wanted to make sure I got every single piece of detail in there that you guys should need to know about downloading this awesome mod. So that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, and it did help you out, leave a like, that would be awesome, and thank you very much. Also make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already, and also consider becoming a channel member as well if you want to if you want to support the channel but apart from that i'm going to go now again as i said so thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video or stream but until then take care and peace out